vacation weeks aren't as pop profitable as you would think for gig workers. Yeah. It's Comics and Shots, a completely improvised semi-comedic musing by Howard Stern's Mick the Nerd, a.k.a. YouTube and TikTok's Mick the Man, a.k.a. Mick the Maverick, a.k.a. a guy who's got some Chinese refrigerated food. Today's subject, at the time Doc Ock tried to marry Aunt May and Spider-Man. It is one for the books. It's absolutely bonkers. Not just because of Doc Ock trying to marry Aunt May, a woman who's like, what, 40 years older than him, I want to say? But the reason why he wanted to in the first place. See, Aunt May, she's had a very tricky time in her life. You know, she, like, her nephew doesn't call as much. She fears she's babying at him. Uh, st debatably senile. And she thinks, you know what? If there's anyone safer to shack up with, it's an obvious criminal. Because I don't believe he's a criminal. Because damn, is he sexy. That's basically the rationale to the get-go. But as it turns out, the reason Doc Ock wanted to marry Aunt May is because of something that she had. Something she inherited. Something she valuable. What was it? An experimental nuclear facility on a Canadian island that was also a uranium mine, I think. Aunt May inherited, inherited a nuclear reactor and uranium mine island. And Doc Ock wanted it, so he tried to marry her. Comics are just great. They're just great sometimes, and... If they make you asking more questions afterwards, infinite questions, you know it's a good one. Because this one just brings up so many fucking questions. For one... Who gave her the island? That's never been explained. I looked it up. She just got an island, apparently, that people have been using to test nuclear shit on. Two, um, she's... I believe that she's had this island for several months, and yet she's still broke as a bone. See, here's how I think this would actually work in the real world. Logistically speaking, she probably didn't inherit the nuclear facility, but the entire island itself. It's a small island. People own islands. And they were probably renting the, like, uh, island due to its natural resources from the previous owner, Aunt May's unnamed invisible relative. And I'm assuming that when the rights got to Aunt May... When said relative died, she would have been paid the, I don't know, finder's fee continuously for, like, the frickin', like, frackin', the frickin' frackin', the actual fracking for uranium. Actually, I don't think it counts as fracking, but you know what I mean. Like, uh, for at least, I don't know, like, half a year? And here's another thing. The island explodes at the end, a gigantic nuclear explosion taking out Hammerhead and Doc Ock. They get better. What if the island was insured? What if Aunt May's invisible dead relative, who was never given a name, pre-insured the island? Theoretically speaking, Aunt May should have a lot of money, but here's the thing. During the entire storyline, Aunt May was clearly never told that she had this island. And at the end of the story, Peter never told her, because how would he know? Only Spider-Man would know. So theoretically speaking, Aunt May is sitting on millions of dollars from Can a Canadian bank from partially owning a uranium mine and nuclear testing facility, as well as the theoretical insurance on top of that. And even without the insurance, that's still a lot of money. Why is Aunt May constantly scrimping and saving to get the next thing? Why does Peter have to, like, frickin' 
take photos of himself and sell them for money. Not like that, but yeah. Aunt May probably has a lot of money lying around, but she doesn't use it because she's got no idea it exists. Like, goddamn. Is that not the definition of typical Parker luck? That's, that's it for, for sure. You, she married into the Parker family, so obviously it's a contagious curse. Yeah. Man, his family is cursed. Cursed to not have money. Yeah. Oh boy. And with that, if I ever become a writer for Amazing Spider-Man, I am making that a sto part of a story. I am going to address that, and it will be a thing. You won't know it's me, though, but man. Man, it just needs to be addressed. It just needs to be addressed, because I will never sleep well again until that gets addressed, because it was weird. It was the weirdest Spider-Man story of all time, and I freaking loved it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Macarena. Hey. Hello. With that, like, comment, and subscribe. Donate if you're feeling nice. Share it with a bear. And always remember raise me to the blood elk, fear the stabopotamus, and death to Kronos. You don't gotta refrigerate Sriracha, I don't think. Have a night, folks. <laughs>